Hello, my name is Jens Hillengas. I'm the Chief of Myeloma at Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center in Buffalo, New York. I'm here at ASH 2023 in San Diego. And we had a poster that was presented by one of my colleagues, Ian Lund. And we looked into patients who have received lenalidomide maintenance, standard treatment, uh, after either high-dose chemotherapy or um, after standard treatment. And we compared patients who had to dose reduce lenalidomide because of side effects, which is very common, unfortunately. And we found that patients who dose reduced the lenalidomide actually did not have a worse prognosis. In fact, those patients actually had a better prognosis than those patients who stayed at the expected dose of 15 milligrams, which is based on earlier clinical trials. And we expected that those patients do better if they have the higher dose, but it looked like the patients with the lower dose did better. We have several explanations for that. It might have been, it was not shown in this study, but we think that they were longer on the treatment because they could tolerate it better with a lower dose. They might have had a little bit um, better safety uh, profile and a bit better uh, risk profile. But we were surprised to see that this was actually not a problem to dose reduce the lenalidomide for the outcome of our patients.